Speaking of which, I gotta lay down for a second. I, gotta, I got a bad back. You all don't mind if I drop anchor for a tickety two, do you? Oh, snap. Hey, what it used to be. What's your name, Captain? Andy. Andy. What does that rhyme with? Candy. Andy's a little uncomfortable, so am I. Because this is an awful way for a man to lay down. Awful. Like as a fella, you don't walk in your boy's place on a Sunday ready to watch a football game. Your buddy's like this. Hey, what took you so long? <laughs> what? So I figured out there's only three ways a grown man can lay down like this. Only three. Number one, Burt Reynolds. Number two, a magician. After a hot magic trick. Like you like that? Of course you did. It's magic. Number three, for some reason, any family portrait taken at Sears, hanging above the fireplace in Ohio, Indiana, the father's always laying down like that. Like you like that? That's three kids. Boom, boom, boom. That's no joke. That's no joke. Now, could it get any worse than this as a man to lay down? Could it? I don't know. Could it get any worse than this as a fella to lay down? You bet. Any worse than that? You watch your mouth. So who are you? I am an American, because when I was over in China, I was there for the Olympics. So people kept asking, hey, what are you? What are you? What are you? I was like, oh, I'm American. And it felt great. Oh, I'm American. Then I come back to America. People are like, it's like your face with your eyes. What the hell happened to you? I'm Korean and I'm Irish. Oh, welcome. Welcome? I live here. What do you mean, welcome? <laughs> That's when I start saying to myself, well, if I say I'm American over in China, why don't I just say I'm American when I'm here in America? That's what I say from now on. People are like, hey, what's your background? I'm American. Hey, where are your parents from? I'm American. I'm tired of us trying to separate ourselves from ourselves within ourselves. All these racial sects. African American, Asian American, Latin American. The hell with it. From now on, we're all here. Let's just all be American, right? <laughs> Unless you're Mexican. And I am serious. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> We're the only country that does that. Asian American, Latin American. Have you ever met an African Canadian? Who does this? All these terms we have for each other. Sometimes white people come up with terms for everyone else. People of color, minorities. Well, there's an opposite to everything. Do I call white people people devoid of color? High transparent people. Do I walk through a mall? Come here, look inside a banana republic. Look at all the majorities inside of there. I'm so uncomfortable. I mean, I might be Asian American to some people. You might be African American, but white people are just white. Why? Because you're the most messed up of all of us. It's so hard to say what you really are. Ask anybody who's white. Hey, what are you? I'm white. No, seriously, what are you? German, Russian, Polish, Irish, Swedish, Italian, Dutch. I get it, you're white. That's a lot of white. Stop. Thank you. I get it. Oh my God. It's a lot of white. We refer to each other as colors. Red, brown, white, black. Black people was like, black ain't the color of my skin. Keep black. It's cool. Asian, yellow. Yellow. That's like the difference between being told, hey kid, you got heart, or you got pizzazz. <laughs> Keep black. I know this, only two races in this country, just two, white and black. That's it. Turn on your TV all day long, all you see are white and black people. No Asians, Middle Easterns, Mexicans, Latins, nope, just white and black people. Watch commercials, every commercial now. White guy, black guy, let's get a Toyota. Black guy, white guy, let's get some Budweiser. White guy, black guy, let's go to Taco Bell. You couldn't put a Mexican in the Taco Bell commercial? Make a run for the border, they know how. Don't give a kid a trophy that didn't earn it. When you do that, you're lying to the kid. Being a kid is tough enough. As you grow older, you're gonna learn that life is one lie after another lie after another lie. 
What's the first lie most of us ever heard? Santa. Santa Claus is coming. No, he's not. <laughs> what? Santa Claus, your parents. What the hell did you just say to me? <laughs> well, it's cool. I'll get a basket of chocolate soon from Bunny, so. No, you're not. <laughs> Lost my tooth, gonna put it in my. No. <laughs> What's cool? I'm older now, anyways. I'm gonna watch some uh, professional wrestling. Eh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> What's well, cool? I'm older now, anyways. I'm in a girl's. Oh my god, her tits are huge. Eh. <laughs> uh... Finally with a girl, ugh. Oh my God, I can't believe we came at the same time. Of course we did. You're so strong. Who's married here by round of applause? Anybody married? Very nice, very nice. Good looking couple, awesome. Personal question. Do you believe her when she says I love you? Hear me out, just two seconds. <laughs> Give me two seconds. I don't believe girls when they say I love you. I'll go to my girl, oh, I love you. I love you too. Oh, I wish I could believe you. <laughs> I know when girls love anything in this world. Girls love anything in this world, watch them. Their eyes will roll up into the back of their heads, always. Bring home a cupcake on Monday, watch her reaction. <laughs> Give her a cupcake. Hey, I brought you a cupcake. Oh my God, I love cupcakes. <laughs> Wow, a pony. Oh my God, I love ponies. I love you. I love you too. No, you don't, bitch. You love cupcakes and ponies. <laughs> Me personally, I am for the right to marry. I'm for gay rights. I'm for anybody doing whatever makes you happy. Hold on. I do understand why some people get turned off by that cause. I get it. I was working in Seattle. There was a gay pride parade outside my hotel. I went down to root for him, just started. First float goes by, right to marry. Second float goes by, right to marry. Third float goes by, just eight dudes in Lederhosen with sparklers on their assholes like. <laughs> I was like, right to marry, right to, why? Why is that there? We get it, guys. We all know what you like to do. We all got an imagination. I don't need a goddamn illustration. I don't need to see, hi, what's up, Main Street? You know what, I'm gay, and that's my dick, and sometimes my dick goes in his asshole. Just like this, watch me in case you don't know how it goes. Then I'll turn around, uh-oh, guess whose turn it is? Then I'll pull on my dick, and I go like this, and he goes like that. It's like, we're good, guys. We're good, it's three in the afternoon. <laughs> the sun is still out. That eight-year-old boy just let go of his balloon. He's confused. I just bought a cannoli for $5. I can't fucking finish. <laughs> Uncle. You know, in the past year, there have been 11 Holocaust movies that have come out, 11 Holocaust movies? I get it, it's a tragic event in history. I don't need 11 Holocaust movies. And I'm gonna tell you this, after Schindler's List, no more Holocaust movies. That's the greatest Holocaust movie ever made. You can't top Schindler's List. You know, that's like me going on Hollywood producer's office. Yeah, I'd like to pitch you a movie idea. All right, well, what's your movie about? Titanic. <laughs> Sorry, have you heard of Titanic? It's the biggest grossing film of all time. I sure have. This film's just a little different. <laughs> How is your film different? Well, you know the story of Jack and Rose. This is the story of a couple a few doors down from Jack and Rose. <laughs> Girls hate the C word, but I discovered a word just as offensive, if not more than the C word, and it is ma'am. Have you called a woman ma'am lately? Because as a fellow, when you call a woman ma'am, you're being polite. It's short from a damn. Women associate ma'am with age. I don't know when this started. I was at a store there, I was like, oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> ma'am, am I old enough to be a ma'am? Sorry, bitch, what the hell am I supposed to call you? I was being polite. You don't have to be such a cunt. You ever hear people having sex? You ever hear that? That's uncomfortable. I stay in a lot of hotel rooms. I walk down the hall two, three in the morning and you hear it. And you know when you hear it, somebody had stubbed their toe 38 times in a row in under two minutes. Someone is banging. And it ain't you. 
Just walking down the hall, mind your own business, you know, just... Eh. What? Eh. Yes? Like you're gonna help out. Oh, they've been waiting for you. Eh. You need me? Here's the thing, you never hear people having sex, you will never hear that. What do you actually hear? Women. Girls. Because girls are the screamers. When a girl's a screamer, she's either positive or negative. So you're, yes, 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 with a complete opposite. No, no, no. Just once I want to hear a girl like right in the middle, like, maybe, maybe, perhaps. <laughs> but it's always girls. Mm. You never hear guys. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God. I'm quiet in bed. I'm not loud. I'll tell you what I sound like when I make love. I'm so bad, I don't even call it making love, I call it making like. <laughs> when I make like, I sound like a very scared man who is crossing a very thin sheet of ice. And all he's trying to do is get to the other side. That's what I sound like. It sounds something like this. Oh, thank God that's over with. Oh. I almost died. <laughs>